Why is Hassan Piker such a crusty reformist? Why does he have the intellectual integrity of Alex Jones? Why is he doing the work of this system? Let's get into it. When he's not playing video games and shilling for the left wing of the Democratic Party, you might catch so-called socialist Hassan Piker attacking real revolutionaries and joining the chorus of haters from the Daily Beast and The Intercept to the straight-up fascist Daily Caller and Law Enforcement Today in a smear campaign against Bob Avakian and the Revcoms. This dude literally spent 15 minutes regurgitating lies and slander about us that some random internet trolls put in the chat on his Twitch stream. Here's how it started. The reality is, like, people feel this way. They feel this way. They see this. They're angry about this. They're apparently part of a cult, unfortunately. Wait, really? What fucking cult? Hey, I see a lot of... Oh, they are a cult? Hey, I see a lot of friends rise up for abortion rides. They are not friends. They are an anti-trans hate group pyramid scheme led by a white male cult leader. What the fuck? Oh, they're fucking Revcom. God damn it, dude. How? How? How does Bob Avaki and pull this shit off, dude? Revcom's triggered you, Asan? You're looking kind of shook, man. He was so excited about the message from these young abortion rights activists till some haters told him a scary communist cult was secretly behind it all. White male leader? Give me a break. You follow Bernie fucking Sanders. Your beef with Bob Avakian is that he's a revolutionary communist leader, and you hate revolution more than you hate this system. As for the accusations of cult, anti-trans, pyramid scheme, or the idea that Rise Up for Abortion Rights is being led by Bob Avakian, all this is just made up garbage designed to attack revolutionaries and keep people out of the streets at a moment when we need to be raising hell. And it's been thoroughly refuted at riseupforabortionrights.org, revcom.us, and right here on the Revolution Nothing Less show for anyone who wants to do the bare minimum investigation. But that's not what Hassan is about. Why investigate and fact check when you can just amplify random lies that fly across your computer screen? Watch this. The RCP is often referred to as a communist doomsday cult that's obsessed with a vacant. It's mysterious. Um, it's mysterious leader and hastens on to a final emancipation of humanity through a populist revolution. Speaking of doomsday cult, what do you call it when capitalism is literally destroying the planet and you're so enslaved to the system that all you can imagine doing is trying to push the Democrats a little bit to the left while you talk shit about revolutionaries? Hmm. Let's watch Hassan promote some more random anonymous accusations as if they're true. I went to a protest Friday and there was 100% a Revcom guy or he was a cop. I don't know. <laughs> Same difference sometimes. He was trying to fight the crowd because we weren't smashing windows and starting fires. Okay. At this point, Hassan is showing he has about as much respect for the truth as Alex Jones or QAnon. Promoting conspiracy theories because they suit his political objectives. In this case, attacking revolutionaries. Even worse, he's falsely accusing us of committing crimes, thereby inviting the state in to investigate. How ironic that in the same breath he accuses us of being police and feds. But here's another irony. Besides spreading gossip, rumors, and baseless accusations, one of the main tactics of the FBI in their effort to foment division within movements of resistance and to frame and even murder revolutionary leaders is snitch jacketing, spreading false accusations that people are cops and feds. What Hassan is doing is libelous, it's dangerous, and it's doing the work of this system, whether he's conscious of it or not. As for Hassan's insinuation, which he repeats multiple times, that the Revcoms are provocateurs trying to start violence in the name of revolution, unlike you, Hassan, we're serious about an actual revolution. That's why the revolution clubs have points of attention that we uphold, live by, and fight for. Point of attention number six says this. We're going for an actual overthrow and a whole better way beyond the destructive, vicious conflicts of today between the people. Because we are serious, at this stage we do not initiate violence and we oppose all violence against the people and among the people. We have a strategy for revolution. Have you read it, Asan? Matter of fact, have you read anything from Baba Vakian and the Revcoms? Quit spreading bullshit. But let's get to the heart of the matter. Let's get to what all this bullshit is in service of. How about we enter into the fucking Democratic Party? Enter into the fucking Democratic Party. But not with these guys. Okay, thanks for clarifying. 
You don't think people should enter into righteous struggles and bring people a revolutionary understanding. You think people should channel their rage into the killing confines of the Democratic Party. The same Democratic Party that commits monstrous war crimes, backs coups and assassinations, and murderous death squads all over the world. That spent decades capitulating and conceding to the assault on abortion rights and did nothing to codify Roe v. Wade when they could have. The same Democratic Party that deports as many migrants as the fascist Republicans or more and consistently backs the police up when they murder black people. The same Democratic Party that talks about climate leadership while they ramp up fossil fuel production. Yeah, but we could change the Democrats, right? Baba Vakian has something to say about that. If you try to make the Democrats be what they are not and never will be, you will end up being more like what the Democrats actually are. Baba Vakian. Basics. 312. And now we get to the icing on the cake. When you're too cowardly to take on our actual positions and you have no evidence to back up your rumors and lies, one thing you can always rely on is name calling. Oh my God, Revcom. If you've ever attended a protest and you see some of the crustiest motherfuckers on the planet literally trying to subvert the protest and like acting like they run the show and immediately being like, it's not enough. What's happening at this protest is not enough. And now this protest is like officially a communist protest. Revolution Now, one of those type beats. Those are, those are the Revcom dudes, okay? You can spot them because they look crusty as a motherfucker, okay? Crusty? You want to call us crusty? What could be crustier than trying to reform this rotten capitalist imperialist system and joining one of the parties of that system's ruling class and then calling that socialism? Wrapping this up, Asan, man, I gotta say, <laughs> this, was, this was a sorry ass performance on your part. I want the 15 minutes of my life back that I spent watching this trash. But since that's not gonna happen, here's a challenge for you. If you're not a complete coward, and you have a shred of intellectual integrity, have us on your show. Or better yet, come on the RNL show. Let's debate. Democratic socialism versus revolutionary communism. <laughs> Rules are no rumor mongering, ad hominem attacks, or baseless accusations. Just real talk about questions that matter. What's it going to take to end all this exploitation and oppression and save the planet? What's the problem? What's the solution? What's the strategy? and what kind of leadership is needed. To everyone watching, if you want this debate to happen, send this video to Hassan, post it on your social media and tag him. And to Hassan, hit us up at the Revcoms and bring your A-game this time.